Hello, I'm Justin Sexton, Director of Strategy and Product Development at Performance Livestock Analytics. We built the Performance Beef platform to help you simplify managing your operation, making data collection easy with user-friendly software that provides actionable insights. Today, I want to share how users can take advantage of the newest Performance Beef features to easily record health and performance data, whether they're standing at the chute, walking the pen, or riding a pasture, all while using an iPad or an iPhone. In this session, we've found a steer that is limping due to foot rot, and we're going to track the uh, treatment that we're going to apply in the pasture. So from the delivery page, go to the processing app. We're going to start a new session. We're going to enter the animal's ID Why he's here close, 8721. Create. This group is the 28 August steers. He is a steer. The actions are diagnose the steer with foot rot, and we want to track the cost of treating him with Draxon 1.1 milliliters per hundredweight. And also, we want to track the pull fee, one unit per head, and that's to recover the cost of the dart we're going to use. Select Continue. Uh, one thing I want to note in this animal is it is his left rear. That's the foot that he is limping on. And we're going to diagnose him with foot rot. We estimate his weight at 850. And you can see the dosage of Draxon has populated. And we can save it. And now all of that uh, animal's information is captured. So if we want to go back and review, we can select it. Hit animal history and you can see all of the things that have been documented. So the next time you pull him, if he's limping, on his right rear, you'll know that you treated him for a different reason previously. And uh, we're ready to finish this session and get on with treating the animal, knowing that we've recorded everything in a place that everybody on the operation knows. For this session, we're going to record a treatment of a couple of animals that we have pulled from a pen and brought up to the chute where the chute is connected to a point scale head. So starting at the delivery page, we go to the processing application and we're going to go ahead and start a new session. And you can see that uh, the first thing we need to do is we're going to select and pair it to our point uh, scale head. And then we know that the uh, animals that we have pulled both are uh, suffering from what appears to be uh, BRD. So that's the diagnosis that we're going to select. And then uh, the costs associated with that are going to be the treatment of Draxon, 1.1 milliliters per hundredweight. And then also, uh, while we have them in the chute, we're going to assess a uh, uh, chute charge uh, for the labor of bringing them up and through the chute, so one unit per head. And also, uh, we are going to add a hospital tag uh, to this as well because we want to uh, put another visual ID or a hospital tag. So we want to make sure and capture that cost as well. So we're set up and ready to process. Uh, so as we bring an animal around, uh, you can see that the uh, scale is now paired and, and weighing the animal. And so it is waiting for us to enter the tag. So we select visual ID and we're going to type in 592, which is this animal's ID. We're going to create. Uh, the animal is from the August steer group, and it is indeed a steer. 
So you can see that the costs have already been applied. Uh, Draxon dosage has been calculated for us. We want to enter that this animal is being diagnosed with respiratory disease. Uh, and then the rectal temperature is 104.6. So we capture that. And so now this animal has been treated and we are ready to run him out of the chute. And so as he leaves the chute, the scale clears and prepares us for the next animal. We bring the next animal around uh, as it is weighing him. It will say waiting for tag. And so now we are going to manually enter that ID 738. And we want to create that animal. And you can see that the dose is calculated again. We want to diagnose him with respiratory disease. This one has a higher temperature, 105.3. Uh, we've captured that. We also want to add a note of um, about how we found him. He was slow to come up to the bunk. And so that note will be added to his animal history. So the next time we will know how he was discovered. As he leaves the chute, you can see that it is saved. And, and so we will bring another animal around. And as it is locking, we're going to enter 683 as the tag. It is a steer from that same group. Uh, in this case, his temperature was 101.5, and uh, we didn't actually uh, treat him because he had a lower temperature. Uh, we are also not going to give him a hospital tag, so we shut off that visual ID and we shut off Draxon. Uh, we do not select respiratory, but we are uh, going to charge him a shoot charge for bringing him around animal history and uh, you just type in that he looked sick and so we now know that he was previously pulled because he looked sick but he was okay and we did not assess him any of the charges nor uh, record a diagnosis so as he leaves the shoot we are now ready for the next animal and you can see that the Draxon and Visual ID is back ready for another animal, assuming that we're going to treat them. So if we want to go back and just look through these animals, uh, animal history to see what we have captured, you can see the diagnosis, costs, the weight, as well as temperatures were recorded. And as we look at the uh, second animal that we pulled, we also had a note uh, that he was slow to come up and eat. And then the last animal, you can see that we did uh, pull him and that he looked sick, but also that his temperature was uh, reasonably normal and that he was not treated. So all of that is captured in this session. So we're done and we're going to go ahead and finish the session. And again, you can see what products were used. You can see the total cost of the processing session. And then if any of the animals need edited, uh, they're right there easily to do that. So as we finish, it takes us back to the Create a Session screen and we're ready for the next time. For many of us, record keeping across the team is a group text where we share animals that we've treated or animals that we've noticed that hadn't come up to the bunk. The new performance beef health functionality eliminates that group text and double data entry associated with trying to track down those treatments at the end of the month. If we start a processing session when we see an animal that maybe is a little slow to come up to the bunk and we want to know if he is a, a new pull or, or one that's been treated recently and we can't see that notch in his tag or the number that we historically use or the date that we write on his tag to track our treatments. We start a new session and uh, without entering anything, we can quickly type in that animal's number. In this case, it's 367. I see that uh, there's really only one that have been treated previously, so I select him. And if I go to his history, you 
can see that on the 23rd of August, he was previously diagnosed with respiratory disease. He was treated uh, with Draxin, weighed 730, and had a temperature of 104.5. So it's uh, five days later today, and I know that uh, there's really no reason to go ahead and pull him again. And so this has saved me from pulling him from the, the pen again, as well as texting somebody else to find out if they were the one that treated him or going back to the processing shed and looking back onto the sheet. It's right here on my phone. As soon as I see him, I'm able to pull it up. And so one of the things I want to note here is today I'm going to add that he looked sick, slow to eat. And so that way, everyone else when they pull him again or maybe think about pulling him again the next time they see him that note will be logged into his animal history that maybe he just looks like one that needs pulled as opposed to is actually sick so much better record keeping system eliminating double data entry as well as making it easy to communicate across the team if we finish the session no costs were applied, just a note. That's looking up an animal and sharing information across the team using Performance Beef. The Performance Beef Animal Health functionality now allows you to not only track and record the financials and health aspects of animal treatments, but also look at those visually in the analytics tab. Starting at the overview page we scroll down to analytics where we see the familiar graph of dry matter versus as fed over time but now with animal health enabled you now have the opportunity to look at health by date, days on feed, or compare to groups. So let's start with health by date. In this case we're going to look at uh, group 105 we're looking at respiratory disease you can see you can pull up any number of the diagnosis that you use but in this case we're going to use respiratory disease and we're going to use uh, percent of group uh, we'll look at some of the other functionality here in a minute and we're not going to use any of the overlays that are available yet but this is a curve of respiratory morbidity and mortality so it shows uh, first pull respiratory disease in the green line, second pull in the blue line, third pull is in the magenta line, and then death loss is in the red line. So now you can see relative to date uh, how morbidity and mortality is affecting each group. If you want to look at it a little differently, you can now add uh, days on feed along the x-axis which is a very similar uh, curve but now let's add the um, overlay of feed intake so now we can look at the incidence of, of respiratory disease as it relates to feed intake and maybe on days where feed intake was lower we see an increase in respiratory disease a few days after that or maybe uh, increased incidence of digestive upset. Other things that we have is over here on, under percent of group, we can use total head, which is a similar graph, or we can look at daily, which is the number of pulls that occur each day. So maybe this uh, allows you to track uh, who's doing the doctoring or who's the cowboy that's writing the pens and you can look at the impact of each of those days number of pulls. Another group we can look at, uh, look in a little different view, is group 98. And in this case, we're going to look, instead of feed intake, we're going to look at head count. And, and so if we look at, in this case, it took us uh, quite a few days to build this group and would have kept adding to the group and that allows you to see the impact of continual commingling on the impact of respiratory disease. So this gives you an opportunity to work with your veterinarian and develop health protocols around how you manage different groups of cattle. 
One other uh, feature in analytics is the ability to compare two groups. So in this case, we're going to compare that uh, first group, 105, to group 98. And we can see uh, how those two groups compare to incidence of respiratory disease by days on feed. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to overlay it by date because they may not have started at the same time. So we look at it relative to the feeding period. This gives you the opportunity to compare two similar sets of cattle for uh, the impact of your health protocols or, or management and, and compare two groups at the same time. So a lot of analytic functionality built into the animal health up, update so that not only are you tracking uh, feed and financials, but also give you the opportunity to have conversations with your trusted advisors around opportunities to make improvements. Thanks for joining us today. This concludes the highlights of the newest features added to Performance Beef. For more information, visit our website or contact our team to schedule a demo.